But let's say hi to Alec himself. Alec, hey, uh, thanks for the time, man. It's good to see you. Congrats on a, another great start. Big effort by you against the Reds over the weekend. Um, and I know you had some discussions with your skipper, with Charlie, about finishing the game because you were so dominant with a reasonable pitch count. Tell us about how those discussions went and, and where you landed with Charlie. Yeah, hey, th thanks for having me. Um, I think the biggest thing, you know, is just as a competitor not wanting to come out of the game, you know, and um, the biggest thing is just being able to do everything that I can to get that team a win. And, um, you know, he's, he's doing his job to do the same thing, you know. So uh, basically just let me know that, you know, if a guy got on base, he was going to have to pull me and he didn't want to have Romano out there with, you know, guys on base. So he thought the best thing was to just give him a clean inning. And um, the biggest thing is we just got that win and, and everybody went home happy. Did it go something like this, Alec? Was it, hey, we need you down the stretch, man. It's a long season. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You were great. Uh, we've got a great closer, eight innings, and it's a wrap. Was it something like that? Yeah, it's uh, very close to that. Um, those are usually the conversations. I mean, even if I have 100 pitches through five, I'm trying to go out there for six. So uh, they constantly got to remind me uh, it's a long year, and, you know, I'm just trying to take every start. Um, you know, as, as much as I can and enjoy it as much as I can. Got it. Hey, so your next assignment, Friday in Anaheim, which was the spot last year where you had really one of your best starts of your young career, an 11 punch out game against the Angels. Uh, you had a career high pitch count in that one. When you go into a city like that for a second time, do you remember the success that you had had there previously, or is that just another road start for you? No, I think I think it's a really great city. I mean, the ballpark's super cool. Uh, the fans are great there. The weather's amazing, you know. So um, it's it's for me, it's kind of like uh, going to Miami, but on the West Coast. So um, the vibes are great there. The atmosphere is great. So I'm um, super excited. You know, obviously they got you know really good players over there, especially Otani and Trout. So uh, super excited to go up against those guys. Hey, I want to ask you about another start you made this year. Uh, you flew your mom and grandma to Cleveland on Mother's Day to watch you pitch. Mm -hmm terrific story uh, and I, I think there was a car involved in this as well um, from something you did as a kid before that where you cost a car and then you made it back for mom can you tell us that story <laughs> yeah so uh, I was 15 years old I just got my like learner's permit or whatever and I was actually going to the store to, to buy a new video game that would be the show I can't remember what year it was um, and things didn't go as planned and uh, I always told her since that day, uh, I said, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to get you that car back. Um, and, you know, back then it was kind of pretty tough situation. But now looking back, we, we, we laugh about it. Yeah. So when things didn't go as planned, it means you trashed the car. But uh, then you got to the Grande <laughs> Ligas, bought, bought mom a new ride. Good for you, man. That's good stuff. We got yes, footage sir. of your, your Mother's Day start here where you had mom and grandma in the ballpark. That's great. Hey, uh, let, let's take you off of baseball for just a sec and talk about the uh, NBA playoffs that are going on right now. I know you're a Miami kid. You're a big Heat guy. you got to be happy about the way that Celtics series has started. Uh, but you have a friendly wager with a teammate who is a big Celtics guy. What do you and Bo Bichette talk about? <laughs> uh, well, usually uh, after, after the Heat win, I kind of walk by him and I go, it's all right if you don't want to talk to me today. Um, but, yeah, no, it's, it's – uh, it's super fun. We're, we're both competitive guys, and we've been talking about it for a while, you know, and he's kind of been sleeping on my guys down there in Miami, and I told him, I said, man, you got to watch out with those dogs. They're coming, and uh, we'll see the way this series goes. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident going into tonight. Yeah, two games to one lead, but your heat six-and-a-half-point underdog tonight. Uh, so with you and Bo, it, it feels like, and maybe I'm creating this storyline here, but it feels like <laughs> there might be a little competition beyond just your favorite basketball team we have a who wore it better thing here, Alec. Uh, you're rocking the heart pattern, and Bo is channeling his inner New Jersey and going with an animal print. Uh, are you trying to outdo each other here, or is this coincidence? <laughs> I, I, actually, I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> and I know he says that, uh, that his, uh, his mom gives him some fashion tips, so... Uh, maybe I'll, I'll go to her if I'm trying to outdo him every once in a while. <laughs> got it, got it. Hey, you know what? Last time you and I spoke, it was in the off season uh, when you told us that uh, despite the fact that you're a big part of that rotation and big part of the team's success, 
there's still a couple guys on the team that think your name is Alex. Uh, take a listen to this. <laughs> Malik Smith calls me Alex every day, uh, but I. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell him anything. <laughs> Maybe he'll watch this and he'll know. <laughs> I think it's just an accident. Like, hey, good morning, Alex. Hey, what's up, Alex? Like, you know, I just. I, I don't. <laughs> and I'm not gonna be like, hey, man, that's not my name. Like, I'm. You know, so I'm just like, all right, we're good. <laughs> all right, so here we are, two months later. Does everybody know your your proper? Does everybody know know you're Alec and not Alex? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I, I think Malik was was watching uh, that interview because <laughs> uh, every time I saw him after that, he 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 called me Alec, <laughs> and we never spoke about it or anything. But I, I think he was watching that interview. <laughs> That's good to know. It's good to know we did some something right for you there. Hey, uh, before we let you go, Definitely. and we talk food on this show quite a bit, can we hit you with some uh, some food hot plate questions real quickly? Let's do it. Here we go. Uh, Pre-game meal on start days. Is it the same thing for you? Uh, for the most part, uh, sometimes in different cities, it's it's a little hard to kind of try and, and find the same meal. But uh, kind of like to go for, you know, a nice scramble in the morning um, with a little turkey sausage, some avocado. Um, and then if it's a night game for lunch, um, go with like a teriyaki kind of salmon. Okay, what was the last meal that you cooked for yourself? Uh, the day after, nope. The day before my last start, uh, me and the lady made some, some New York strips at the house with some nice uh, caramelized onions and some baked potato and some broccoli. Oh, yeah. Bam, chicken, bam, bam. Nice. Good for you. <laughs> uh, hey, best road city for food? Um, best road city for food. Uh, Baltimore is kind of sneaky. Mm. Uh, the hotel in Baltimore is kind of around uh, this pretty good sushi restaurant, and, and there's some other pretty good restaurants around there. And obviously, N New York is is amazing for food as well, especially that visitors clubhouse. Last one for you. Biggest spread crusher on the Toronto Blue Jays. <laughs> You're looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, either me or, or, or Matt Chapman. <laughs> that guy goes in. Got it, man. Hey, Alec, it's always a pleasure talking to you, man. We're happy for your success. Keep on doing it, and uh, we'll visit with you down the road. Yeah, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Alec Manoa joining us on the spread.